What's up guys? Just got my scythe in. I just got home from work so it's a little dark. So let's open it up and see what all we got in here. Look. Anvil. The painting jig. couple different blades that I wanted to try. Well, they sent me a bandana. They think I'm going to break a sweat, apparently. So that's kind of fun. And I'll open that up and then show you guys what it is. All right, guys, I finally got everything unwrapped. So it's uh, Look at the boy and the girl, they're so happy. That is a boy and a girl on there, and they are happy, huh? Yeah. That's cool. Hold on, guys. So, this is what was wrapped up in all that newspaper. So, I got a couple stones. Stone holder. So I've got the cattle horn with the belt clip on it just because I thought it was fun. My shoe won't get fixed. What's that? This? Yeah. This is an anvil to sharpen it with. To sharpen it with? Yeah. Oh. And this is a painting jig that you have to mount in a block. What? Well, one of those. One that one gets broke, we can use one of those. Well, I hope it don't get broke. They sent a book, so I can read through that. That'll be fun. It's the bush blade. Bush blade. <gasps> That's just kind of like my own keyblade. I got a blade cover. And they sent me a bandana. I'm sure the mailman loves me. Put it back. Well, I couldn't resist it. It's dark, but I had to give it a try anyways. And I've still got to glue the handles in place, but it cuts really, really well. So far, I'm impressed. I'll do a, a better video with better lighting, of course. So yeah, I'm very happy with the South Supply so far. I think uh, Little Man's digging it too. Is that giant teeth? 
all the time. My all goodness. The time. Holy. So yeah, you can't really see it, but it does cut very, very well. It's just a joke. Brand new blade. Never had one before, but from the looks of it, it's still kind of rough right here. It's been peened out fairly good, but I just want to wipe any paint or varnish off of it, just about a quarter of an inch on the blade before I start peening it out the rest of the way. The peening jig that I'm using came with this cloth thing, kind of like, almost like sandpaper. So it'll work out pretty well for that. And I'll just pinch it between my fingers and rub away. I don't know if you guys can see the difference on that, but just a little bit. Doesn't take much, doesn't take much effort. And it'll smooth it out a little bit more. And I just wanna do that to have a nice smooth edge to start peening with. Plus, I've never seen a razor with uh, grind marks in it, so I figure it can't hurt, right? Still kind of sharp, so be careful if you're doing this. You can see, it looks much better now. It's actually shiny. You can see the back, it looks a little better. It's still got some paint on it, but that's okay. Just rub it a little more. It's got a few rough spots on it from the grind. Or peening, whatever they did to it. So we'll just smooth them out a little bit. And again, that's really fucking sharp already. You might want to consider wearing gloves. It's pretty sharp, I don't know if you can see that. Just barely touched it. It's been cut by worse. You guys have followed me very much. Uh, I'll just do it wrong and we'll see how it goes. Could be looked at as maybe it wanted an offering. Who knows? Then on the peening jig. These caps have lines on them, so it's got one line on this one, and two lines on this one. And that's the order you use them in. Just raise it up a little bit, push it, push it up to it, and start peening away. It doesn't take a lot of force. 
As you can see, I'm resting the blade on my leg. This part on the hill is pretty thick, so it's going to take a few times on it. I don't know if you can see kind of where I've started to pin there. It's thinning out just a little. I'll do a spot up here so it'll be easier to see. Each time I hit it, it bounces it a little further down. starting to draw it out just a little you don't want to do a whole lot just enough to flatten out the very edge of it so you'll go over the whole thing with the number one cap at least once and then you'll go back over it with the number two you want to keep the blade flat on the anvil face. You might want to put a towel or an old pair of pants on for this. So it didn't take very long at all, about five minutes to go over the whole thing. And we'll go over it with the number one, or the number two cap. It's kind of hard to see, but it creates a nice little super flat razor sharp edge at the bottom. <laughs> 